In this video, we'll see how to create a UI search animation in After Effects. First, we create a new composition. We draw a shape with the rectangle tool. Open the rectangle settings and set the size to 800 and 150. We also set the rounded value to 100. After aligning the shape to the composition, change its color to white. Then, add bevel and embossing from the layer styles panel. This will give it a slightly 3D look. Next, we add the glow effect from the effects section. Set the glow radius to 100. Duplicated glow effect. Change glow radius to 35. Then, copy another layer from the shape layer. Name one layer box and the other line one. Now, open the stroke settings for line one, setting the diameter to round. Open the taper and set the start and end lengths to 50. Then, add a trim path to the line layer. We set the end value to 50. We activate the offset keyframe. We go to the last second and set the offset value to 2x. We change the color to yellow. Then, we copy one from the line layer. We open the trim path settings and set the offset value to 2x and 120. In the last keyframe, we do the same and add the offset value to 120. We change the color to green. Then, we copy another from the line layer in the same way. We open the trim path settings and set the offset value of the beginning and end keyframes to 2x and 240. We change the color of that one too. By clicking the join link in the description, you can contribute to the videos and take advantage of special bonuses for members. Okay, it looks great. Now drag the search button to the workspace. Set the scale to 25. Add the glow effect, then add the fill effect. Set the fill color to white. Set the glow radius to 35. Then add bevel and emboss in the layer styles. Open the position and rotation settings, activate the keyframes, and set the starting position like this. Move to the 3 second and set the position like this. Set the rotation value to 90. Select the keyframes and set the Easy Ease option. Set the speed graph like this. Remove the Easy Ease option from the initial keyframes and activate the magnifier's motion blur. I'll leave the project file in the description. You can download it for free and customize it however you like. Now select the text tool and type the appropriate text. Align it with the composition and adjust its size. Then move it to the bottom layer. Add the glow effect. Set the glow radius to 35. Then add the slow fade on effect. And set the keyframes like this. Now let's select all the layers and pre-compose them. We create a solid. We add the grid effect to the solid. 
We change the blend mode to normal with the width slider on the corner point. We set the width to 12, the border to 2, and the opacity to 5. We activate the 3D features and create a new camera. Then we activate the camera's point of interest and position keyframes. Then we set the starting position with the camera tool. You can navigate between the camera tools by pressing the C shortcut. Then we move forward two seconds and set the position like this. Doing this with the camera tools makes our work easier. Then we select the keyframes and set the easy ease. And we set the speed graph like this. We can remove the easy ease of the initial keyframes. Now let's watch. Very fast. It would be better if we moved the final keyframes forward by one second. Yes, now that's much better. We've reached the end of this video. If you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, you'll be notified of new videos. You can leave your thoughts in the comments. See you in the new videos.